and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me and thank you for joining me for my last um, video for this year. So uh, thank you for being here. And actually I was planning to do a video called my top 10 street photography um, from this year. Um, but after reviewing all my pictures and all my bad pictures, um, it was pretty hard to rank them. And uh, especially that I have different shots with different uh, um, approaches and some shots are working better in the series. Um, I decided to highlight my best shots from, uh, from this year. And also uh, I decided to highlight my, uh, the, the shots that perform very well on Instagram. And these are not um, uh, necessarily my, uh, my favorite shots uh, from this year. And I realized it was a pretty good um, opportunity to say thank you for the people that um, helped me with this channel, uh, to the feedback, to the likes, to subscribing to this channel. Really appreciate it. And um, I have um, some friends here, some good friends, and met some, some wonderful people um, uh, uh, this year. And um, I'm, really, I'm really grateful for your, uh, for your feedback on the channel, especially people that uh, uh, took they, their time and their energy to, to write comments and to write their, uh, their feedback, so really appreciate it. And um, without any further ado, let's get into the video. And let's start with the shots that performed very well on Instagram. And uh, I had no doubt this picture um, would perform very well when I, when I took the picture in Antwerp. Uh, it's, with, with, it's, um, it's with a boy with, uh, with a hat walking into the... Uh, pocket of light uh, close to the train station and um, this was one of the, uh, the shots that uh, people constantly um, uh, commented or shared in the stories or um, not a bad shot um, and uh, the light was pretty good to be honest and um, got the shot with the Leica Q2 monochrome um, the other shot that um, the next shot that performed very well and I'm not surprised was um, this one shot in um, the train station in Antwerp with the Tibos X Pro 2 and I waited for like 10 15 solid minutes in order to have the, the subject uh, right or um, where's the, the strip of the light there and um, it's pretty graphical it's pretty um, this kind of shots street photography pictures are very popular on Instagram the other ones that perform very well are these ones uh, the man with the hat sitting at the table also shot in Antwerp and um, this was very popular as well um, and as I previously said like um, hats are hats and umbrellas are really popular on Instagram and they they'll probably get your likes and uh, another shot with the um, with the uh, with the man with the hat was this uh, this one during the the light festival in Brussels uh, this one's performed very very well there are other shots that uh, that were uh, pretty like highly appreciated on Instagram um, this one for example and uh, so, so these are basically these are good shots for me but these are not my, my, my favorite shots from this year and if you're following this channel for a while now you, um, you probably know that I'm trying to, to get more to migrate more to the, um, to the pictures that have more depth more meaning that are uh, more close to the to the street photography as I um, I wanted to, to, to as I understand it. Uh, probably this is the classic approach of street photography. So um, less geometry, um, um, less architecture, uh, to have less boring pe pictures where like um, you have just a, a nice light and people are just walking to the light or uh, using their smartphones and nothing happens. So I'm trying to get more more pictures that they have more depth, more meaning and um, to be probably known that's a, uh, at a certain point for uh, not for my editing skills or my for my high contrast black and white pictures or for architecture but for um, for capturing and seizing that moment so this is basically what i'm trying to do and this is one of my goals for the um for the next year and these are some shots that i really like and um, I guess they're they're coming a little bit more close to um, to what I'm, um, I'm I'm targeting for the next year.
also one of my highly appreciated videos from the channel was uh, the one shot in Paris when I stayed um, and I do, uh, I've done a two days uh, street photography uh, um, outing in Paris and I really loved it and um, I really love this series um, and actually I didn't realize but somebody in the comments mentioned to me uh, and asked me why is everybody holding their heads in Paris and I really love how this um, this series uh, came out and I didn't notice it uh, before this comment so thank you very much for uh, for highlighting this and uh, it works very well because every subject every uh, um, every person like basically holds his hand and uh, holds his uh, his head and it looks uh, it looks pretty uh, pretty nice like a series and um, I love how this uh, these pictures came out I really I really love um, um, shooting street photography in Paris I, I said this numerous times and I'm gonna be back there uh, uh, very soon and to sum it up this is my 38th video from this year and uh, I've done uh, 26 POV street photography videos uh, four episodes um, um, on the series word on the street photography where I invite a fellow photographer uh, a fellow street photographer to talk about street photography and uh, about photography and um, basically one of my goals one of my objectives for the next year is to double that number so I would love to do at least uh, let's say eight or um, ten, um, ten um, episodes from the word on the street photography series um, to do more POV um, street photography videos and uh, uh, maybe to travel more and um, to meet more um, new fellow photographers from uh, from other parts of the the world that's one of my uh, my goals um, also i would like to um, to reach 10,000 subscribers so um, if you feel like feel free to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it and um, thank you very much for your support as well so uh, yeah basically this was it um, i hope you have a great year and um, if you're doing street photography keep on shooting and um, i hope to see you very soon and uh, have a better year than the previous one.